Good morning. We are at affordable burial and cremation. And again, it's maybe something that people don't want to sit around and talk about, but it's something you definitely should talk about. I'm here with Dean. You're the managing director. And um, this is, you know, again, where do we start with something like this? It, people, when some, there is a death in the family, what do people yeah. do? People don't even know what the next step is. Yeah. Well, the thing is that usually people would call a funeral home. Mm -hmm. But in today's market, um, the price of funerals has gotten to the point where the average person can't afford a funeral. And it scares people, oh, that yeah. in itself. Not only you're hit with the, the burden of the, mm -hmm. the death, you're hit with the burden of the financial problem. Right, and, and you that's... start spending money that you shouldn't be because you're not thinking clearly. Right. And people are saying you need this, this, and this, and then it's the tens of thousands of dollars. Yep, you just sit there and nod your head, and right. next thing you know, it's uh, mm -hmm. the total comes out to ten to 15,000. And, uh, and that's not the way it is here. No, so how does not it work here. with you guys? With us, it's um, well. First of all, uh, the, there is a study done in um, North America, Mexico, United States, and Canada. It was called the Butler Study, and it was the biggest study about death. And number one thing people hated the most was the cost. Hmm. The cost is way too high. Sure. Second thing was having to look at a dead body. People don't want to look at a dead body. So here it's a choice. You it's have a, a special choice. room if somebody wants to come. If they want an identification. It's not mm -hmm. viewing, mm -hmm. so it's not public. Not public. It's immediate family only. Right. And they come into our place and uh, a couple can go in, they can shut the door, the mm -hmm. rest of the family can have a coffee and uh, go in individually and have their sure. private time. Up to the individual. Yeah. Say and goodbye. I think the biggest message here is that it is affordable. That's the name. That's why it's yep. in your name. So and everything's acronyms nowadays. Sure. And uh, we trademarked ABC mm -hmm. in the funeral business right across Canada. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, everybody wants to just say ABC. Sure. All right. We're going to come back throughout the course of the morning mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit more about how approachable this all can be and how you can plan ahead as well, which is a nice concept. Oh, that. All right. That's we'll be for right sure. Back. Good morning, welcome back. Today we are at Affordable Burial and Cremation up on the Hamilton Mountain and I'm back here with Dean and uh, well, very helpful person to talk to when, yep. you know, <laughs> at that time of your life and uh, you've you've lost a loved one and or mm -hmm. planning ahead, right? That's correct. So we want to talk a little bit about urns right now and you guys are the top seller. You have the most product. The most urns. We started off with 200, over 200 urns. Mm -hmm. We just did an inventory a while ago. 678 urns are in this bill. No, you're holding one right now. Yep. And that's more of your straightforward, typical... Standard urn. This one has been in the funeral business probably around 50 years. Mm -hmm. It's spun aluminum, and it comes in three different finishes. Uh, it's baked enamel, same as what's on a car, mm -hmm. and it's a hammered finish. And this one here is pewter. It comes in gold and copper. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they've changed in the last... Uh, I would say in the last 20 years or so is put neoprene, a neoprene gasket. Mm -hmm. They used to have rubber, but they found that rubber was uh, rotting away under the ground. But the, again, you, I mean, you're looking yeah. at something like this, but then there are there's so much variation. This is not, yeah. We've seen this wood, and then we urn. see yeah. the variety. You were talking about this versus marbleite. The marble. yeah. yeah, marbleite urns are are man-made urns, the mm -hmm. same as what you'd find in a a sink and counter that molds right in together, mm -hmm. and uh, but we good price points, and I think that's the oh, yeah. part that we want to keep reminding yeah. people. We, we sell these for um, uh, probably a half the price the funeral homes would. Mm -hmm. And then the, we have actual marble, which mm -hmm. is down below, and that, that price is what uh, mm -hmm. the funeral homes sell these artificial marble ones for. Now I'm going to bring Luke, our cameraman, around because mm -hmm. again, since you have over 600, we have there's to show tons. a few <laughs> other ones. And there's ones that show lots of character in a person. So maybe how that right. person lived their life. So it's either right. you're choosing it yourself or you're choosing it for somebody. So obviously, you know, if you were a biker, you had a Harley, this is a way you can represent That's your life. That's correct. Yeah, this is our little Harley shelf and we have mm -hmm. the uh, little token urns, which would be a portion of the deceased, can go in there mm -hmm. and have it as a keepsake. Mm -hmm. And the other one could be put on a mantle, or they could actually bury it. And then right. we have leather-covered urns, 
and it comes in gray and black and, and green. But lots to represent people's life. Oh, I mean, you, exactly. have, you have a fisherman in a boat down here at the end, which yeah. again will be a, a nice Dolphins. representation. <laughs> Dolphins. <laughs> I mean, there are lot, lots of toys. And uh, again, you also have smaller ones that we're going to talk about when we come back. Right. But it really does show you that it doesn't have to be just that standard urn. And it, right. it somehow lifts people and makes people feel better mm -hmm. looking at something like this every day to say, hey, you know what? That's how I'm going to remember my dad. Yep. Right? All right. That's the way We're going to, to come go. back in just a little bit here. Affordable burial and cremation. Good morning, welcome back to Morning Live. We are at Affordable Burial and Cremation. A lot of people would look at this ring and they know if you're of Irish descent, this is a clutter ring. But I think what's special about this jewelry is this is a way to keep a loved one's ashes inside the ring. Very small portion, but small that's true. Small yeah. but something's in there. Yeah. That's cool. I know, and, and you, then and you can keep, it, keep them with you all the time. Right. That's, that's what people like. And, or the necklace. A necklace, we mm -hmm. have a necklace here. Now this is a religious you know, cross with a little uh, heart on it on mm -hmm. on top of it there, but inside this this um, is where the cremated remains can go. And we have a small funnel and a little toothpick device that we pack pack it in. And then at the end, as you can see, there's a small screw with a O-ring. But we'll silicone that or Gorilla Glue or Crazy Glue, and then we put it on the threads and we screw it in. And that's and the way. And then the person could take a shower, go swimming. And it's no safe. problem. Yep. Now, there's lots of different ways. I mean, it's hard to believe when looking at this jewelry in this case here that it's. A, it, it, I mean, even look at there's like there's a little football here, so yep. you can actually hold somebody's remains in there as well. And we put ashes in a big football too. We'll Aww, put ashes in any uh, like that. any vessel that people bring in, mm -hmm. and if they don't, if they want, you know, have a favorite thing that. We put a put uh, cremated remains in a fishing lure. It was a big fishing lure. Oh, that's neat. Even and something it, like this down yep, here. That's a little keepsake cart. Mm -hmm. People can. Uh, a lot of people keep don't that. know this though. It's not something you know you're going around shopping for on a regular basis. No. So it really does give some some you yeah. know some people some information. So the idea here is to have have. Uh, Let's say you've got grandma sitting up on the shelf for mm -hmm. 10 years mm -hmm. in, your, in your house and you were afraid to go to the funeral home because you didn't want to interrupt any funeral or any visiting. Yes. So, and also the price is a bit higher so you don't want to go there and you want to do something. Mm -hmm. They can come in here, shop around, take pictures with their phone, show their family and relatives mm -hmm. exactly what they want to do and then we'll fill the vessel and... and there. And if there's lots of siblings, you can actually, oh, yeah. for some people, mm -hmm. it would be okay for them to divide it up so every sibling would have a little bit of... That's it. Mom. That's the, that's the trend me. today. Yes. Yeah. I also wanted to show this as well. I think this is great. These yeah. are actually fingerprints. Of the deceased. Mm -hmm. And this one here is an actual picture of the deceased. Mm -hmm. And then on the back, you can put their name and their... Uh, date of birth or any special message you I want. I love that. I love the fingerprint. And the fingerprint uh, is that's, that's neat. produced right on these little hearts. Some are sterling silver. Most of our stuff is mm -hmm. the um, uh, the jewelry is actual um, stainless steel, but sure. it's medical stainless steel, so it has a higher nickel in it. And, uh, and that seems to be the best thing because who wants to be shining exactly. something all the time, right. really? Well, this is lovely. Okay, we're yeah. going to come back. Again, we're at Affordable Burial and Cremation, and I think the key word, again, is affordable. Uh, think ahead, yeah. and, uh, you know, there's no need to, to, to panic, really. You guys are great. You can come yeah. in and talk to you. Take and, your and time. And set things up. Get it all right, done. We'll be back in just a little bit. Good morning, welcome back. This morning, interesting conversation we have here on Morning Live, but something necessary. We're at Affordable Burial yep. and Cremation on the Hamilton Mountain. Dean, you know your stuff, and you're a great person yep. to call when you know when a loved one passes, right. or think ahead before, and uh, come in here and plan this out. Right. And we were talking about uh, statistics nowadays. 80% of people choose cremation over burial. That's correct. But the 20% that are still choosing um, between, again, we were talking about caskets versus coffins, but right. We're in a room where there are a lot more biodegradable choices. That's correct. This mm -hmm. is our biodegradable and eco-friendly showroom. Mm -hmm. uh, the bottom one is our top seller, which is the cardboard, and then it mm -hmm. has a wooden base. 
It's called the cremation tray, okay. and that is just for security to hold the body. And then we, we have straps that keep the lid down. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here, the coffin, is a European coffin, mm -hmm. but in a, it's a, a lot different than your standard coffin, mainly because it has, um, the composite of this is recycled cardboard mm -hmm. covered with a veneer of oak. Right, so you have a so sample of what it looks like is, if it's cut yeah, open. Yep, yeah, this is the cardboard, and then they can bend it, mm -hmm. mold it, and then they put a veneer of oak over top. And, and then you're a saying natural, that will break down? This will break down probably within a year. Wow. And it's not going to hurt the environment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to anything toxic is going to, there's no toxic material. Mm -hmm. And these handles are plastic, which is a decorative handle. Uh, have you heard of uh, candy plastic? It's what mm -hmm. they use in Hollywood for throwing yes. throwing people through windows yeah, and what have you. Exactly. That's the same kind of plastic. Oh, interesting. And people think, oh, are you kidding? That's plastic. It'll hold up forever. Not no, this one. Once it down. gets wet, mm -hmm. poof, it's gone. And, okay. Uh, well, you know what? I think before we go here, again, a reminder to people that... I th the key word all morning has been that you are affordable and it, it can affordable. get overwhelming when some, a loved one passes away. They can call you, sit down and talk with you guys. You're all yep. wonderful here. And I uh, really get proper information. And, and yes, it can be affordable. It doesn't have to be tens of thousands of dollars. That's correct. And you guys can really help make it simple, mm -hmm. a little more straightforward. Our motto here is mm -hmm. helping you to make final arrangements as simple as ABC. And our, uh, we and do have, acronym. yep, <laughs> we do have our, um, mm -hmm. the, all these are echo friendly. Mm -hmm. This particular one is not, but we have it here just to tell people that we have regular caskets, just like the funeral well. homes. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a showroom in the back mm -hmm. with eight caskets, which is the minimal. Perfect. And they're on an average $1,500 less than uh, the funeral homes charge. So mm -hmm. people can save money by getting a casket here sure. and then we'll deliver it to the funeral home so and that's, that's it, a good adding thing dignity and it helps people we're all about trying to save people money yes and today's costs are just too astronomical yeah, well, really well thank you it's nice spending time with you this morning nice Some really good information you. okay Pass for now.